Um, I wish I'd have the room to keep more than we'll probably stop keeping lots of babies, which is sad, but that's what needs to happen. I, unlike other people, I have them on hay all year. But little by little, you're gonna notice that every kidding season, I'm gonna keep less and less girls. Then I, I'm gonna be done. Girls are gonna be on test, LA scored, going to shows, and all those things. And then the rest of the babies will be sold. Why don't you sell her and buy another doe with good teeth placement? Nobody's gonna sell their best goat. I need to make sure that the ones that I have I need to keep or I need to sell. Uh, I need new lines, I need new blood. When they really pass on their strengths, that's a proven buck. And he was a pretty penny, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Kind of getting a divorce from your husband, you're like, um, he is, he snores too much, so I wanna get rid of him. So you get rid of the guy and then you marry another one who doesn't snore, but then he's alcoholic and then you're like, <laughs> He's like, can you please let me go grab me so we can drink some milk from my mama? I'll let you go. Are you, are you seriously locked in there? She locked herself there, I swear. These goats are gonna drive me insane. Gaia, push on the door, push on it. Push! Hello everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. If you're new around here and you're enjoying the content, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like the video, and if you don't mind, say hello in the comments down below because that will help with the YouTube algorithm to spread the video and, and to different people that enjoy this kind of content. So thank you if you're doing that. Now today we're going to talk about the girls I'm going to keep. I mentioned in a milking video recently that I was sure that I was gonna keep three, possibly four. Now the possibly is not because I don't think that, I mean, I'm keeping her because I have a feeling that that girl is gonna be the one. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it happened to me before and I didn't listen to my instinct. And I'm kind of, um, understanding now that sometimes it's right so that's that's a little explanation for you so that number four doe is i'm thinking about keeping her or i was trying to decide i should say if i was gonna keep her because i don't have a bug to breed her to but first we'll decide to keep her and then we'll figure out the book. I guess that's, that's all I'm trying to say. The first doll I'm gonna keep is Clarita. You probably knew that. The second that she was born after Clara's horrible, horrible um, delivery, I mean, not that she did horrible, but because she had a, um, a stillborn, it was kind of traumatizing to me. And I know it happens, but it was kind of traumatizing. So I, <laughs> It was, it was such a mess. If you missed the video, I'll link it on the top of the screen, but I was such a mess in that video that when I saw Clarita coming out, I look at her and said, this is mini Clara. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh my gosh, I need to keep this girl. Now Clarita, body-wise, she is in the smaller side. But what I'm trying to do right now is bottle feed her along with Clara feeding her, and she's taken to the bottle really well. If you remember, she was inside the house for about three to four nights. I can't remember, it's all a blur right now. But she was staying inside at night, and I was giving her bottles. She never took it 100% correct, like when they stick, they put their tongue under um, the nipple, and when you see the tongue being straight right under, you can hear the <coughs> that's when they know how to drink. Clarita still to this day, she's very lazy, but she loves the bottles. So, and for Clarita, which is gonna be always her barn name because she reminds me of her mom, Clara. And Clara, she basically has, if we're lucky, three to four breedings left in her, and then I'm gonna retire her. If she, you know, if she starts, um, giving me some trouble at kidding, meaning that, you know, she starts having really hard labors or kids tangled up or whatever, then I'm gonna cut it short. 
but if everything keeps going as it should be she has at least three more kinnings if not four so this fall if we're saying that it's four then we only have three left so i really have to be smart about who am i gonna breed her to but i also wanted to keep clarita because once clara's gone I think I need my fix of Clara and you know if it's her daughter that reminds me of her then so be it. She's the smallest in size but she is so smart. She knows how to get things her way. She's very persistent. She will not take crap from any kid in the pen no matter how big they are. Now that she's about four weeks old I can I think she's five weeks old I can clearly see her personality which is completely different from the other girls now the other girls that i the other girl that i said i was gonna keep is mocha's girl the one that has that big moon spot on her i think it's the left eye and she is not only beautiful her coat her pattern everything is beautiful but she has the best independent strong but not a bully personality. She, I've, I, I can't understand how different she can be from her mom. So I decided to name her Denali. So you probably do know where Denali is and how big it is and everything. But I just wrote here that it kind of reminded me of this little girl because of this extreme weather, even in summer. That's her. She's extreme in everything that she does, but she's not pushy, she's not annoying, she just gets away with it. And it doesn't matter if she's 100% happy or if she's 100% sad, she's 100% either way. Now, the, the native name, I didn't write it down, but it means the tall one. And it's a very, it's known, Denali is known as a very strong name. And that's what I see when I see that little girl. The, the name fits her. She's strong. She's the tallest one of the, all the girls. She oh my is. gosh, you're such a needy boy. Hope, how did you get out? Oh, I swear, my animals are gonna drive me nuts. <laughs> She's playing with carrot. Now the final girl that I wasn't sure I was going to keep and it really uh, got me thinking once I started thinking about um, Athene. She's about to have her babies in about a month and it really would be interesting if I keep one of her girls if she does have a girl. If she has all boys then it will be easier I can sell them all but um, if she does give me a girl I am planning to keep one. Um, and I'll tell you what my breeding plan is in another video. You know that if Athene has a girl, I'm gonna keep her. And if I sell this girl because I don't want to get another bug and then I keep another girl from Athene, I'm gonna be in the same situation and I really don't want to be put in that situation where I'm gonna regret selling this girl. And this is Gaia's girl. If you remember, Gaia gave birth to twins, the boy that I call Blondie, which is the sweetest little boy. His new owner is gonna be so pleased with him because he's a love bug. And the sister is going to be named Mount Everest. And her registered name will be Oregon Heavenly Farms Mount Everest. What are you doing? She's like, I'm exploring. What do you think I'm doing? Look at that cute little girl. Hi, Mama. She's so independent. And she's so smart. It, I don't know what to tell you about this little girl. She really is something else. You're a cute girly. She's like, Auntie? Auntie Annie? Then she pretends she's not doing it. Look. Oh, I don't know what you're saying, Grammy. I'm just here, a perfect woman, being a perfect lady by myself. <sighs> Out of all of the girls that I'm keeping, I like her confirmation the most. She's not the biggest. Killy is the biggest. 
but we like her better or her structure better at this point. She's one of those girls that is always nursing from every other mom. If she's thirsty, she will she will jump over one of the walls where she knows there's water. How does she know? How does she remember everything? Like the moms don't even remember. She remembers and she will jump over it. She will go and get a drink of water. She is the most um, leader figures of all the other girls. She's the one that teaches them everything. And everything that she does, she does it with a purpose. It's not like she's trying to be naughty. She's trying to do what's best for her. She is the embodiment of the perfect leader. She will show you with her example. She will do whatever she needs and she'll show you the way that you can do it too if you're smart enough to follow her. The other reason why is that all of those girls, but Clarita, are from Dom. Dom is the new bug that I got uh, in May last year. And he was a pretty penny. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, when I got Rocky, mm, he was probably a fourth of what Dom was. So he's really, he's really not a cheap boy. He comes from really great lines, champions, and his the others behind that boy are like spotless, beautiful. I want them in my heart. So if I'm able to keep those girls and with my own girls and see what comes out of that combination, that's exactly what I want to see. And I can also decide how dumb because there's a chance that he's not going to pass on those others. There's a chance of that. But there's also a chance that he will and he will constantly do it throughout his life, which means that's a proven buck. When they really pass on their strengths, that's a proven buck. It's not because they are proven because they had babies, it's just you know, they have they're producing good daughters that will do great in shows they're producing a lot of milk they're on milk test they are you know linear appraise that's a proven buck and that's what i want for dom and that's what i want for rocky but the only way that i can do that if is if i keep from one of my does one of the dads a little girl and kind of see the improvements and then compare the other with the moms and see if I'm improving something there. So to me, that's kind of the most important thing at this point, improving on what I already have. A lot of people, what they do is they bring new blood. Uh, I need new lines, I need new blood. And I completely understand. But I think that before I start bringing more goats in the amount of space that I have, I need to make sure that the ones that I have, I need to keep or I need to sell. So for me, knowing the improvement that they will do in my herd, it's more important than bringing new lines and um, kind of starting something new because I will be <coughs> starting from zero. So that is why I feel like it's more important to work on the lines that I already have instead of getting a new one, which is something that I was asked recently. If you're not 100%, happy with the other that you have like i don't know like if you don't like i think i was talking about teeth placement and annie why don't you sell her and buy another doe with good teeth placement and the thing is that <laughs> it's kind of getting a divorce from your husband you're like um he is he snores too much so i want to get rid of him so you get rid of the guy and then you marry another one who doesn't snore but then he's alcoholic and then you're like <laughs> you know that kind of situation and that's pretty much what happens with goats nobody's gonna sell their best goat there nobody's gonna sell their you know their their main goat unless it's older and they can't really breed I'm so glad I can be your friend. Because I feel like you, the goats have been bullying you and you're feeling lonely. It's like nobody loves you. 
carrot cake. You're a good man. I know you love me. I'm allergic to you, but I'll put up with you, okay? If I must. <laughs> anyway. So that is why I'm not selling Annabelle to buy another dough because yeah, it may have a better teeth placement, but it could have maybe weak legs, front legs or back legs, or maybe they don't have a level top line or, you know, there's always something that you're gonna have to improve on. So you either scratch what you have and start new and kind of recognize what needs to happen or what needs to be improved on your new lines or you just oh the, the night time came <laughs> i'm sorry or you try to improve on the things that you already know are not right in your herd and you want to improve and you can always do that with a buck and that is why it's very important to only keep bugs or to only buy bugs that are proven, that comes from great lines, awesome udders, and you know, that way you can improve upon what you already have. If you buy just a bug for their looks and you're not really happy with the udders, then you're just basically setting yourself up for not a great outcome. So these are all the girls that I'm gonna keep for this season. There's a chance that Athene will give me a few girls. One can only dream. <laughs> and, uh, I'll be able to keep one of hers too, but I think I'd be chopped off at five. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that I need to start thinking, you know, I may have to cut the tree and you know make a little extra area for them you know winter winters are really long and rainy right now we're gonna have about 10 days of rain and cold weather today is the only sunny day we're gonna get for the next 10 days so in order to have you know that many goats inside a small house it really doesn't make a lot of sense so i need more room if i'm going to keep more girls i need more room but as soon as i have a girl from each one of the moms and the buck corresponding you know that they're not related to then i i'm going to be done girls are going to be on test la scored going to shows and all those things and then the rest of the babies will be sold um i wish i'd have the room to keep more uh, we live in an area where there's, you know, I think the smallest property, it's, it's a rural zone. So I don't know if it's 40 acre, something like that. I mean, you have to have lots of acres. So I drive by this beautiful fenced farms in the area and I just can only dream to one day have something like that where I can have my girls. But if I'm being honest, I need a big barn because those girls are gonna to want to be in when it's raining. And we rain a lot during the winter. Um, our winter really starts late, but kind of sticks around, the rain sticks around for a while. So in order to have a lot of girls, I would have to have a big barn too. So if things change, you know, then it would be a different story. But little by little, you're gonna notice that every, kidding season I'm gonna keep less and less girls and it's only because I need to make sure that I pay attention to the ones that I have see what they're producing see their udders get their LA scores um, take them to shows and I can continuously keep growing my herd in a way that is not sustainable for the lot that we have for them yes I can buy the hay for them once I sell babies but Unlike other people, I have them on hay all year. Um, they do go out and they graze and stuff, but their diet is the hay that we buy. So it's not only for the winter. People buy hay for the winter. Well, I buy hay year round. So it really makes it uh, an expensive thing when you're trying to keep them all fed and happy. 
and if you start to cut corners and what you're feeding them then you start seeing a decline not only in the milk producing department um, there's a lot of and that's something I'm gonna cover probably in another video that I'll record today but it has a lot to do with the production if you're not feeding good food to your dose you're not gonna be producing good milk uh, if you're feeding enough that they're producing milk but not the right things it's not going to taste right um so there's a lot of factors on the producing milk and producing of babies and have them in good condition but that's all the investment that you're doing with food on those animals so i'm excited to keep those girls i'm excited to do you know to continue this but once aria and ava kid uh then we're gonna start selling and then we will revisit if we're gonna keep any more starting next year so the plan right now is after aria and eva give birth um which will be the last ones to kid then we'll probably stop keeping lots of babies which is sad but that's what needs to happen i love that everyone wants to kiss my hands <laughs> It's like I have something delicious in my Hi Dom Jr. Hello. You guys wanna see Dom Jr.? He's a good man. Come here. Come here. No, you're gonna throw my thing. Oh, oh, he's scared of the kitty. Look. Dom Jr. came to say hello with his mommy. He's like, can you please let me go grab me so we can drink some milk from my mama? I'll let you go. So you can go follow your mom. You're a good man. Do you know that, Dom? You remind me of your dad. You remind me of your dad. Go find your mama. Go say hi to mom. You can come back here, cake. It's like, how dare you? You left me for that stupid kid. Are you, are you seriously locked in there? She locked herself there, I swear. These goats are gonna drive me insane. Gaia, push on the door, push on it. Push! You wanna see the saga? I'm gonna have you watch this. Gaia, push on the door. Well, somebody clearly walked by and closed it on you. You're so smart, you're not that smart sometimes. Look at me. Look. Okay, here's my hand. Push, push. It was probably your sister. My gosh, so dramatic. My goodness. Was that you, Dom Jr.? Like, what did I do? What are you doing? Those boys will never leave, never leave her alone. Dom Jr. and the black boy—they chase her everywhere. All they want to do is drink milk. 